Today, I'm gonna show you how to make awesome content with this 4K Extreme Pro sports camera. Oh, we're, uh, you're, you're Ubering right now? Yeah, you're actively Ubering. Ubering. Yeah, like literally. Welcome back. All right, initially my plan with this video was to show you a ton of footage that I've captured with this Extreme Pro uh, 4K sports camera. It's almost like the same size as a uh, GoPro. Uh, it's like 60 bucks off of Living Social, which is kind of cool. Uh, that was my original plan, but instead of that, I'm going to do a review on it. Thanks to my friends at Music For You Entertainment Band. They actually gave me this camera, and I've been testing it out for a little bit over a month. Uh, it's something that they want to use to start capturing a lot of their footage. Uh, while they're either in session or at a show um, for b-roll um, or what have you uh, so for the past month I've been testing it and that's kind of why this little piece of velcro is on top of here this camera actually comes with a ton of accessories now don't get me wrong some of those accessories are definitely definitely worth having um, I'll bring some of that stuff out later in another video because you don't really need that stuff right now this is already in 4K. Honestly, it's in 4K when you turn it on. All you have to do is insert a memory card and then format that memory card so that it is ready to shoot. At this point, right out of the box, it's not ready to shoot because I did not come with a TF card. Uh, that was a bit annoying, but it's okay. That means you get to choose whichever TF card you want, also known as an SD card. TF card is just a little tiny guy that goes right into the side right there. This is a TF card. It's very tiny. This is what goes into your camera. This is the adapter that you'll need to make it work to fit inside of your computer. Make sense? Now on the side there you also see your micro USB port, your HD output. Uh, the camera is on right now. As you can see the screen went black because it's in standby mode, but to take it off of standby mode you just simply push the button right there top. You're wondering why there's a piece of velcro thing on top of here. I'll explain that later. <laughs> but out of the box, this is what it looks like when you turn it on. Looks like it's ready to go, but it is in fact not. This little piece of velcro actually has come more in handy than half the stuff that they gave me. I wish it would have came with a TF card instead of half of that other stuff. This video still has some footage in it, but next time I'm going to show you guys a ton of footage from what I've captured. Functionality. So how does this little thing function? Oh, it's pretty simple. It has a built-in 4K camera. Uh, it can shoot at 4K, which is the highest quality. Making content. Okay, cool. Now, before we even get into any of that, the question is, how do we turn this thing on? Obviously, there's a little button right there. See if the camera focuses in on it. That's the power button. Let's turn it on. So we're gonna go ahead and push that button, and if you hold it down for three seconds, the blue light there shows up on the back. As you can see, you can see me. Boom, look at that, like Inception almost. Kinda weird. Let's take a minute now to kinda go over all these there's not a lot of buttons, but there's one, two, three, four buttons. Oh, oh, oh. Fail. There's four buttons. I guess we'll start with the mode button, and we'll see what, what this button does. So when you tap the mode button here, also your power button, as you can see, mode button, power button. When you tap that button, let's see if I can see it. There it is. Uh, apparently it turns it off. It doesn't do that. I don't really know why that happened. It's the first time since I've been testing this camera that that did happen, so interesting. But let's go ahead and try that again. So when you push the mode button, just tap it. This is what changes your mode. Uh, that's why it says mode on it. So right now you're in 4K. Now you can shoot pictures at 16 megapixels. Then we're in 720, which is the lowest that the camera does shoot at, lowest quality that it shoots at. This is where you can review your footage, and then it takes you to the settings menu. 
Now, the settings menu can be kind of hard to navigate because you assume that you push these little side buttons to make that happen, but nothing happens. Actually, to navigate the menu, you have to push the OK button up top. As you get to your menu, you can choose up or down on these buttons now, but to go to the next option there, you have to push the mode button up front, and then you can still use the arrows to navigate, and then mode button again. Now in here, there is a format your memory card. There's also a lot of really cool options on here um, when you do go through, but you have to go all the way through the menu in order to get back to the beginning. Okay, so here's a little cog there. Once you get your TF card, SD card, adapter, TF, SD, TF, SD, and you insert it into your camera, you're gonna want to go to your menu, okay? And you're gonna wanna go all the way over to that little cog, and then you're gonna go down, let's see if I can get there, to format. Once you go to format, you hit your OK button, and it'll format the card. Now, as you can see, there's no card in here, so. Like I said, there are some really cool things in this menu as well. Um, one of those things is a loop recording time. See this here? This means that every five minutes, as long as this camera is on, it'll record in a loop, which is kind of cool. And you're wondering, okay, well, what about the footage that's on there? This battery will die before you run out of footage or space to put your footage on. 256 gigabyte card, um, you'll get a lot of runtime. I think it's like 57 hours. What brings me to our next thing, the battery. There is one thing that I absolutely hate about this camera, is the battery. Battery life on this thing is absolutely atrocious. It's terrible. <laughs> there is no other way of putting it, not just the battery life, including this little cover that's right on top of here. Short of breaking your nail trying to get it out of there, you practically have to pry the thing out of there and this is just the cover. You gotta pry it out of there with a knife or something in order to get the cover to actually come off. And even then, you're probably gonna break it because it's so flimsy. I don't understand it. It's the worst part about this camera. All right. Now, as you can see, right now, it's got three bars. They always stay yellow. They don't turn green, so... You're never really sure if it's just the battery not functioning correctly or no that's just the way that it is that's how you know how much battery life you have that's your battery life indicator now uh, I just took a picture of my hand because when you hold down the OK button hello it takes a picture while it's in recording mode. Oh, but I love you, love me, she love me, love me, love me. anyway it's a whole nother story this is the battery itself it's very small very tiny and they all are small they're all small camera batteries don't get me wrong but this one in particular it it's a 3.7 volt uh, 900 ohm that's not my field of expertise so I'm not even gonna try to pretend like I know what any of that stuff means or how to make it any better but I do know that you can find um, aftermarket we'll call it batteries uh, for these cameras that have more power to them or more battery life to them you could do that, go spend the money to do that, or you can go with what I think is a better option anyway, because you wanna make sure that you're not running out of battery life or battery power. Get a power battery bank. This camera supports an external battery. Um, if you were to take it and plug it into the USB, a uh, micro USB port, the camera would turn on automatically after making power connection to it if you wanted it on uh, if you didn't want it on then you can simply turn it off but it will stay on and the battery pack will keep it powered and keep it running for however long you want it to be shooting for I actually don't use this one in particular for this camera um, I have a different one which has a much larger um, battery impact 
on the camera. I get about seven hours of recording out of it. Um, it also has, instead of an indicator on there like this, it has a um, digital reader and it tells you exactly how much power you do have or don't have. I just hit my laptop and it's old, so it just shut off on me. Ugh, and I'm sure I just made the camera jump because the tripod is also on the same spot where my laptop is. Oh boy. laptop. In a nutshell, you have a camera that you simply turn on and hit record and let it go. I'll do a much more in-depth review of this camera some other point in time, but for right now, the basic opera... My laptop turned back on. Um, but right now, these are just the basics. Uh, power button on, your mode button, this is how you start recording or take a picture. This is how you select your menus. And also, this is how you connect your Wi-Fi to the camera. And this is how you turn off the microphone or turn it back on so that it does record sound or doesn't record sound. If you have a Rode mic, they are compatible with these. I haven't used one yet, but I'm still learning this camera. There are actually a lot of options in this camera. Um, from streaming to your phone, um, to Wi-Fi streaming it, to live streaming, um, to just simply hitting the record button and going. Um, so overall, I'm pretty happy with this camera. Uh, there's still a lot of things that I do want to do with it. Uh, there's still a lot of places I do want to take it. It has a waterproof housing. I do want to test that. I haven't had the opportunity to yet. Um, but as far as what it does and how it shoots and you know, picking up good quality video at 720 you know rendered up to 4k or even just out of the box 4k it's pretty good pretty good quality for 50 bucks 60 bucks for 50 60 bucks at the time this is a good camera this is a good camera uh, including that Wi-Fi connectivity but that is a whole other video trust me um, so for now though, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. Follow me on Instagram. See you guys next time.